No, well, I don't think of it as a threat per se. Um, first of all, we're partners with uh, you know, all these companies and uh, do great business together. Uh, I wonder, though, on a kind of a larger or kind of longer time horizon, not today, not tomorrow, a few years from now, what is a bank? And uh, the more traditional banks give up uh, their relationship with the client, um, I, I, I wonder what the future holds for pure financial, financial, financial players. So I'll give you one example, just, just to illustrate. So um, in the last, seems like you know, five, maybe a bit more years, a new interaction service with customers become more and more popular and still growing its voice. Remember how we're, you know, we all uh, gathered on uh, simple conferences and talked about mobile first? It, it seems like it was yesterday, and now mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's still mobile first, and now it's mobile first and touch free. So you need to have a voice interface to your, to your capabilities. So ask yourself the following question. Uh, when you're a consumer and you say, let's pick any of the popular voice assistants, Alexa, for example, great voice assistant, and you're a bank, and there's absolutely no technical reason not to build a voice application, a skill to become a one of the you know thousands or probably tens of thousands nowadays skills in the uh, Alexa ecosystem. But from a consumer point of view, when you say Alexa transfer you know hundred dollars from account A to account B, who are you interfacing with? Who do you have emotional attachment with? Who do you think you are transacting with? Is it the bank who provides the actual transaction services or Alexa because this is the uh, uh, the, in the assistant name you use, the wake up board. So I wonder, just one example of uh, yes, banks can become a, uh, uh, an engine, a transactional engine behind somebody else's uh, customer interface. And I wonder how strategically it will play out for, for financial players. So are you suggesting, David, in the case of this City and Google deal, perhaps Google's in a, in a more advantageous position than City coming out of this deal? Um, I'm, I'm sure it will be um, amazingly advantageous for both companies at the moment. Uh, and uh, frankly, I'm not in a position to judge what will be you know, five, ten years from now. But I, I am asking myself this question, and I don't know what the answer is. But it's cer cer certainly interesting how uh, the strategy will develop for not only for City and other kind of large financial mm -hmm. too, but for everyone.